A lot of people ask what's the difference between battery saver mode and high quality mode. The battery saver mode seems to be a little bit confusing, at least in its name convention. To get to the battery mode on the pocket, from the camera screen, swipe down, swipe left to get to battery, press on it once to get the high quality mode. You'll get a warning telling you in high quality mode, it may cause the camera to generate excess heat. Press OK. Press the function button to go back to the main camera menu. There's some things to note here. One is you can't shoot any video resolution at 60 frames per second in high quality mode. If you change your setting to 4K 60 frames per second, for example, then try to change the battery mode to high quality mode, you'll get a warning saying high quality video is not available in the current resolution. And it doesn't matter whether you're in 1080p, 2.7K or 4K. From what I can gather, it seems that high quality enables in-camera noise reduction. It does this processing while battery saver disables this processing. Our first test is to see how long it takes in battery saver mode for the battery to run out from a full charge. I simply placed the pocket on a tripod, press record until the battery died. An observation I discovered while doing this is, if you're trying to shoot a very long video, the pocket will break up your video into separate files, all of four gigabytes in size. We're using the MIMO app to set this up. Connect to your pocket. From the video screen, click on the square resolution icon on the left. Here we can choose our resolution and frame rate. Here we're in 4K and 30 frames per second. At the bottom, you can change the battery quality setting. Here we're in battery saver mode. Press anywhere on the screen to close this menu and then simply press record to start recording. So running the two tests, I got the following results. The battery saver was shot in 4K 30 frames per second. The bit rate is 80 megabytes per second. And the time to drain the battery is 83 minutes. In high quality battery mode, again with the same video at 4K and 30 frames per second, the bit rate was around 82 megabytes per second and almost identical 82 minutes again to drain the battery. So we can see that, at least in my tests, the time to drain the battery is exactly the same, about 82 minutes. Even the data rates are almost the same, the bit rates, around 80 megabytes per second. So let's take a look at the videos clips side by side. There's no processing done to the footage at all. It's straight out of camera, and they were all shot in auto at 4K 30 frames per second. Outdoors, I really don't see much difference, if I'm being honest. Maybe because the lighting is good. However, indoors, you can definitely see there's a lot of difference in the video noise or the grain in the shadows, especially in battery saver mode versus high quality mode. Which my takeaway is the high quality mode is processing the ISO and the video noise better in low light. As always, you should do some test footage of your own in the area that you're going to be shooting in. I would say the naming convention is a little bit misleading as battery saver mode, as far as I can see, 
has nothing to do with battery life, or in fact, data bitrate. But it seems that high quality mode does some noise processing to the footage, especially in low light areas. Whereas it doesn't apply this in battery saver mode.